The prompt to question number four tells us that each of the following is a flaw in the argument except what do we know? Well, we know the argument's really bad because four of these are gonna point out flaws, one of them will not. This is of course what we call a flaw except question and that means in the st stimulus we are gonna see a crappy argument. Let's get to that now. A fishing columnist tells us that there's this thing called Benton bait and Benton bait is apparently one of the best baits there is. How good? Well, when they compared the five best-selling baits against Benton bait, they found that Benton bait was best for catching trout. How did they come to this conclusion? Well, they asked a dozen top anglers who were fishing for speckled trout in a pristine northern stream to use all these baits and they found that Benton bait was the best bait for catching trout. Therefore, they conclude that Benton bait is best of all. Woof! What's wrong with that? Where to begin? All right, a bunch of things. First of all, they're using these top anglers, okay? The guys from Bassmasters, those guys who like literally are pulling out sharks and whales, those incredible fishermen. And just because it works for them, don't mean it's gonna work for you. And so again, that's part of this incredible sampling fallacy going on. Then they're in a pristine northern stream. You're in the LA River or some creek, some backwater red state mud hole. They're fishing in Alaska, totally different. And they're fishing for those speckled trout, whereas you fish for the zigzag trout that obviously have different feeding patterns. All of those things make this argument terrible. And if that weren't enough, they only compared Benton bait against the five best selling baits. But that doesn't make those the best baits of all. Look, I can say my car is faster than the five best selling cars in America. That doesn't make it faster than any other car in America. It might be that the best selling baits are not the best baits. And that, of course, contributes to the fallacy as well. We are going to see all four of these things showing up in the answer choices.